Cinema 5D's NAB show coverage. Sponsored by 16x9 Inc. The Blackbird Stabilizer. Genie Riggs. LCDVF, the viewfinder company. And the J Rod Store. Cinema 5D, the forum for DSLR filmmakers. You ready? <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's Josh. Uh, I'm the chief troublemaker and Luddite at uh, Technicolor Digital Intermediates. We do color correction and uh, mastering for motion picture work, uh, either shot on film or acquired digitally. Uh, even if the whole thing is shot uh, still in film or acquired on other digital cameras, there'll be a few shots or a whole scene or, or even more that they're shooting on the 5D dumping on us and saying, here, intercut this with the rest of my movie and make it look right. And that's, you know, been difficult to say the least. So since most of the work we're doing is log, up until now the Canons could only output Rec. 709 video signals, which we would have to sit there and convert to log, and you know, it was sort of a pain. But we're saying, God, if there only there were a way we could get a log signal directly out of the camera. And we've worked out a way uh, to actually, uh, we've created, I guess, what's called a picture style. The name of it is CineStyle. Uh, you can download it, cram it into your camera, and if you invoke that, now all of a sudden you'll be able to get a true log signal out of the, out of the camera. Uh, we utilize the full dynamic range of the chip, uh, convert that uh, into a log signal, which is an equal number of steps per every f-stop, and that comes out, and that's it. It comes out of the live feed. You can report it to the uh, flash card. You don't need any other special technicolor things downstream. You can still edit and color correct the signal uh, your normal way. And we hope that people who are uh, going to be using the camera to shoot insert shots or hold full sequences for motion picture work will use this uh, new log output. <sighs> How's that? You, uh, can you tell me what the difference is to, you know, uh, just uh, turning down the contrast on my uh, 7D, for example? Well, even if you um, play around with the, with the controls you have and turn down the contrast, um, you're still outputting a Rec. 709 signal. The fundamental shape of the curve is different from, uh, from a log curve. So you can think of this as yet another flat look. Um, try it, you can download it uh, at the end of the month for free, see how it compares to the others. Um, like all flat looks in and of itself, it doesn't look very good. I mean, it's made to be color corrected later on. Um, and uh, we've tried things with just playing around with the knobs. We did what we could and sort of said, God, we really have to do more. So this is fundamentally outputting a different shape curve out of the camera. You want to capture, you know, what would be really great is to capture the set, everything that's visible on the set, and then defer the decisions downstream. So you can decide, oh, I'm really more interested in the shadow or the highlights or something more in the midtones. Does it even make sense to uh, raise the shadows in post on a camera like this with such a you know high compression and low bitrate? Um, no, I mean the camera. If you're if you're shooting under very low light conditions and you have dark, I mean the, the stuff down in the darks is going to be as noisy this way as it is any other way. Um, you know, uh, the the mindset here, you know, is you know, the shadows are going. I mean, the shadow detail is going to be just as noisy with this style as as, as, as with any of the other flat styles. Um, but as I said, you know, obviously, if you know you're going to be dealing with the stuff in in uh, uh, low shadow detail, thematically, you should expose for it. And, and get that right. The other thing um, is uh, this camera in this log mode, we found we have really great results. We're showing it through our onset, Technicolor's onset, color correction system. So um, we are, have it both from the live feed and with the flashcard through a film print emulation. And it holds up really well. I mean, we can take it and, and bring it way up and we don't see uh, a noise in the, uh, in the dark end at all. We're shooting now at a 320 exposure index. But then again, we have a really well-lit set here. Um, so we uh, highly recommend uh, bringing the lights, shoot it under well-lit conditions, and uh, you can get really great results out of it.